Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Ladies, Gentlemen, Friends, welcome to the annual meeting 2013 of the World Economic Forum. I greet you here together with my colleagues and I pass on the microphone first to Robert Greenhill, our Chief Business Officer. Thank you, Professor Schwab. I'd like to, on behalf of the Management Board, welcome all the uh, members and partners from some 80 countries around the world, including our 1,000 th foundation members representing leading companies, and of course our global growth companies that are the, the new leaders of tomorrow, most from emerging countries, including companies such as Trina Solar and Kaspersky Labs, and also our technology pioneers, those companies pushing the new edge of innovation in, in health, in environmental technology, in energy, and in ICT. And a special thanks and welcome to our partners, and particularly our strategic partners, who have really helped contribute their capabilities, their passions, uh, to helping create a multi-stakeholder organization that can not only understand but help improve the state of the world. <laughs> yeah. Just for those who fell asleep. Um, and uh, I pass on the microphone to Berge Brende, who is in charge of, the managing director in charge of all our constituents. It's a very delicate thing. Uh, good evening, everyone. It is my great pleasure to welcome um, all the head of states and head of governments. Um, we have unprecedented participation this year with close to 50 head of states and head of governments taking um, part in the annual meeting. We have more than 350 ministers and representatives from governments and international organizations. And even more important, we have the presidency of G20, we have the presidency of G8, we have the presidency of the BRICS, we have also the EU presidency represented with the Prime Minister, and we have the Secretary General of the UN. This shows the real multi-stakeholder forum with the business community, with the governments, international organizations, but also the leaders from civil society, the young global leaders, and also the global shapers, faith leaders, and women leaders. So this is really a great, great occasion for us. Welcome. Who is Lee Howell, who is responsible for uh, the program. Uh, so you can blame him if you are not satisfied. And who is in charge of our academic communities, of our expert groups, and of our group of university leaders. To avoid that shock, I brought my own <laughs> mic. Um, it's also a vote of thanks to uh, particularly one community. We have one, over 1,500 experts from around the world who uh, form uh, our brain trust, our Global Agenda Councils. Uh, in Davos, you'll meet around 400 of these experts who helped us co-design and develop the program. And among that group, they represent over 65, well, 65 universities uh, from over 20 countries. And of course, you're probably familiar now with the program. A number of them are Nobel laureates. And I just want to thank them, but also, uh, again, express that this is part of the forum community. The spirit of Davos is to bring uh, these different stakeholders together. And we have such a great uh, group of people who will work with you to make this a great experience. And again, I, I invite you to explore the program. And indeed, if there is an issue, please let me know. Thank you. And it is very important to have the cultural dimension involved in what we are doing. And this is the reason why we have devoted this opening evening to a big cultural event and to the celebration of our Crystal Award winners. But before asking Hilde Schwab to join here the podium, let me just define what I'm expecting as an outcome from this meeting. My friends know, because I'm so often asked, Klaus, you have met so many leaders in the world, what means leadership for you? And I say it's very simple. 
its soul, heart, brains, and good nerves. Let me explain how it relates to my expectations. Soul means we have to have a vision if we want to be leaders. And we should have a values-based vision. So my hope is that you come out here of the meeting with a vision which is goes beyond just crisis management as we have seen. A vision which is much more dynamic and which is not just crisis fighting. Passion. The heart is passion and it's compassion. So if you go home and you feel more passionate about global citizenship, about improving the state of the world, then I think you are fulfilling our expectations. But so is also the brains. The world has become so complex, so interrelated, it's difficult to understand really what's going on. Now, if you go home and you have a un better understanding of what's happening, I think we have also achieved our objective. And finally, good nerves. I think we need good nerves. You will need good nerves for the program, by the way. But dealing with so many challenges, such a complexity in the world, requires good nerves. It requires, and we have encapsulated it into our theme of the annual meeting, it requires resilience. So, going back, being more dynamic, more optimistic, more resilient, having passion and understanding better what's going on, that's my wish for you. And now, Hilde Schwab, would you join us here?